My name is Nicole. I'm a master's student in the kinesiology department. My poster is on the long-term effects of menopausal hormone therapy on cerebral pulsatility index. So in this study, we're interested in the long-term effects of prior use of menopausal hormone therapy on cerebral pulsatility index. And so we recruited recently postmenopausal women as a double-blind placebo-controlled study where some women were randomized into a menopausal hormone therapy group and others were given a placebo. They took this drug, either the hormone therapy or the placebo for four years and then came back three years after starting to be evaluated. So what we did is a measure their middle cerebral artery velocity and they underwent a hypercapnic protocol breathing in carbon dioxide gas. And what we found was that women who had taken a menopausal hormone therapy drug had a higher pulsatility index um, at baseline and then also with 2 and 4% carbon dioxide gas. And then this difference didn't go away until 6% carbon dioxide gas was breathed. And so what this tells us is that women who have taken menopausal hormone therapy drug have higher pulsatility index and possibly increased vascular stiffness, even three years post cessation of taking the drug. So this suggests that previous use of menopausal hormone therapy alters the regulation of cerebral circulation up to three years after taking the drug.